Uh, what they're asking us to do is do y plus 2 squared divided by 4 minus x minus 3 squared divided by 4 equals 1. All right? So what we're going to do in this case, ladies and gentlemen, is we need to make sure that um, we determine what information we, we have. Now remember, since we have a y minus the x, we know that we're going to have a vertical transverse axis. So we're going to be using the equation of y minus k squared over a squared minus x minus h squared over b squared equals 1. Okay, Because remember, it's always a squared minus b squared, Dustin. It's always, for hyperbola, it's always a squared minus b squared. And then since we have our y over our x, we know that now it's going to be a vertical transverse axis. So we can determine our a is going to equal 2, our b is going to equal 2, and we can say the center of this graph is going to be at 3 comma negative 2. All right, now we can also figure out what c squared is, right? Because remember, for hyperbola, c squared equals a squared plus b squared. So c squared equals 4 plus 4. c squared equals 8. Take the square root, take the square root. c equals 2.8284271. But we don't want a decimal approximation, right? We want to um, simplify it, which would be 2 radical 2. So we now know what c is, which kind of looks like a crazy c. So we have c equals 2 radical 2, a, b. And we now need to figure out the asymptotes, right? So it's vertical. So remember, asymptotes look like this. y equals k plus or minus um, our a, which is it's a over b, so it's vertical. So it's a over b times x minus h. So now let's plug in the information we know. Remember, it's different for vertical and horizontal. So y equals k, which is negative 2, plus or minus our a over our b, which is 1 times x minus h, which is x minus our h. So it would be plus 2. Uh, our h, I'm sorry, yes. Plus 3. Wait. That's your, that's your k. And then, no, but it's going to be your opposite. Um, it's x minus h. No, I'm sorry. You're sorry. OK, you got it. You're right. It's minus. It's x minus h. This is also x minus h. It's the same thing. x minus h, x minus h. So it'd be x minus 3. So now let's do both asymptotes. So let's do the positive one. Let's do the negative one. So I have y equals negative 2 plus x minus 3. And y equals negative 2 minus x minus 3. So therefore, I have y equals x um, minus 5. And here, I have y equals negative 2 minus x plus 3. So y equals negative x uh, plus 1. Right? I distributed the negative sign to both those terms. And then I combine them. So now. These are both equations that I can write to now graph my asymptotes. I know what my a and my b are, or I'm sorry, my a and my c. That's going to help us define our two foci. And we do know the center. So I'll just graph it right here. So let's go to the center first, which is at 3, up 2. Uh, from there, yeah, sorry. Thank you. Negative 2. So we have 3 comma negative 2, right? That's our center. Now remember, we determine, is this a horizontal or a vertical transverse axis? Vertical. So therefore, our vertices are going to be up and down, right? So our vertice, our a, is a distance of 2. So that means if this is my center, my two vertices are going to be up 2 and down 2. Yes? Now it does say that also. Uh, my c squared equals the square root of 8, which is 2 radical 2, which is going to be um, 2.28, which is going to be a little bit farther. right? So it's going to be like somewhere right here. If you take the square root of 8, it's going to be a little bit past 2, 2.28, as I said. 
Yeah, it is. So this is two units, so this would be like 2.28. It's going to be like right next to it, actually. Oh, two units from the center? Yeah, you're always going from the center. OK, now let's graph our two asymptote lines, our asymptotes. So this one is at x minus 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, up 1 over 1, up 1 over 1, up 1 over 1. So that goes correctly. It goes through. Yep. And your asymptotes will always go through your center. Then let's check the next one, plus 1, minus 1, plus 1, or plus 1, down 1 over 1, down 1 over 1, down 1 over 1. OK. Could you move back to the seat behind you, please? So now, if you guys, as you remember, now remember asymptotes, that's where our graph is going to approach, right? So there you go. That's our graph. OK? So the main important thing, guys, is one, obviously determine if it's vertical or horizontal. And then two, determining all the important points of that, OK? How do you remember if it's vertical? You can remember if it's vertical or horizontal by seeing is it y minus x or x minus y, okay. right? The formula, look at, here's the formula, x minus h. Look at this formula, x minus h. What's the, what's the graph? x minus h, so it's x minus 3. So therefore, it's going to still be x minus 3. This, whatever it is in this, is the same for the asymptote. So if this says x minus h, this is x minus h. So what do we plug in there? This is x minus 3, so that's x minus 3. It's the same thing. OK?